Imagine traveling from one major city to another, hundreds of miles apart, in under three hours, by train. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, this is the reality millions of people in China experience every day. China has built the world's largest high-speed rail network, over 45,000 kilometers of tracks crisscrossing the country like steel arteries. And no, this didn't happen by chance. It's a story of strategy, massive investment, cutting-edge technology, and execution that feels straight out of a blockbuster movie. In this video, I'll break down exactly how China made this happen and why it might just change the way we think about transportation worldwide. Ready to dive into this phenomenon? Let's go. To start, none of this would have been possible without a plan, and I'm not talking about a vague presentation slide. Back in the early 2000s, China's government decided the country needed to be connected, literally. They launched a project called Eight Verticals and Eight Horizontals a massive grid of rail lines stretching north to south and east to west, like a giant chessboard. The goal? Link major cities while integrating less developed regions. What's remarkable is how centralized this effort was. No endless bidding wars, political gridlock, or projects stalled for years. It's the kind of unified vision that's rare, and it laid the foundation for China's rise as a rail superpower. A plan without funding is just a dream, right? China poured hundreds of billions of dollars into tracks, stations, tunnels, and trains. And here's the kicker. They didn't just build where profits were guaranteed. Many lines went to less populated areas to spark growth. And it worked. In 2020 alone, China invested over $100 billion in its rail network. While some countries debate the cost of a single rail line, China connects cities with populations as small as 300,000. It's a long-term vision that few nations have the boldness to pursue. Money and plans are great, but they're useless if projects stay on paper. China is a master of getting things done. In under 20 years, they built more high-speed rail than Japan and Europe combined over six decades. How? First, they use modular engineering. Tracks and stations are often prefabricated, snapped together like high-tech Legos. Second, construction runs 24-7. Literally, the work never stops. Third, their logistics are military-grade. Resources, labor, and equipment are coordinated with pinpoint precision. A rail line that might take a decade elsewhere? China delivers it in two. It's like time moves faster there. It's not just about building fast. It's about building well. China no longer relies on foreign tech. They develop their own trains, like the Fuxing, which hits speeds of 350 km per hour or 217 miles per hour. These trains are packed with real-time sensors, advanced safety systems, and energy-efficient designs. Even more impressive, China is now exporting this tech. Countries like Laos, Indonesia, and Kenya are running Chinese-built trains. This ties into their Belt and Road Initiative, a geopolitical strategy that uses infrastructure to expand influence. These trains aren't just fast, they're a global power move. At its core, this is about transforming lives. High-speed rail has redrawn China's urban map. Once overlooked cities now boast modern stations, booming tourism, and new businesses. Over 95% of cities with populations above 200,000 are connected to the network. This means more mobility, more trade, and more opportunities. Connect a region, and you spark development. It's that simple. China has mastered this formula better than anyone. So there you have it. China didn't build the world's largest high-speed rail network by accident. It took planning, investment, execution, innovation, and a bold vision for the future. Now the question is, could other countries follow this model? If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below with your thoughts on what it would take to bring high-speed rail to your country. See you in the next one.